Hi, I'm Mark. Windows 10. Yep. My wife needed a new computer and she got herself a Lenovo Flex 5. Plenty of uh, RAM, plenty of drive space, plenty of processing power, and it came with Windows 10. Privacy and network security issues. Uh, why do they keep doing it? Well, they want to improve the user experience, which is a horrid phrase. But nonetheless, that's what they're uh, that's what they're trying to do. They're gathering all this privacy data uh, to try to uh, uh, make sure they know more about you. That way, they can get you to your cat videos and your creepy eyes wide shut pornography as quickly as possible. To get you onto the internet as quickly as possible, they enable these networking protocols. Uh, some of them uh, have real security issues associated with them. Again. You know, they're just trying to improve the user experience. Now, I, I guess improve the user experience is kind of like when you tell, you know, your friend says, hey, I set you up on a blind date, and they've got a great personality. And that's, you know, the same thing as saying, well, I set you up on a blind date, and they're an absolute monster, and they have five teeth and an extra limb growing out the top of their head. Uh, good luck. Tracking users is big business. All that tracking that can be done by browsers can be blocked with, uh, you know, various ad blockers and other security settings in your browsers. So in recent years, with the advent of the uh, popularity of uh, phones, uh, that's become the next big thing. Millions of dollars are involved in determining, you know, if you drive a Prius and your favorite color is blue, there's an 87% chance you own a cat, so here are some cat food ads. That's big business at work, and that is why they try to collect all this data on you. These apps are simply glorified browsers uh, using web protocols to download ads and upload telemetry data to someplace in the cloud. Apps on phones are a mess. Oh, which brings us to Windows 10 Home Edition those tiles loaded with those crap apps. There are apps on your laptop doing that same tracking that phone apps use. You can fix things. I put together a blog post and I'll have a link in the description with uh, more technical data but I'll give you the highlights here. During the first boot of your new system, turn off everything that even remotely says something about collecting data. Do not use an online account to sign into your laptop. You create an offline user. Uh, the an offline user account, the text is real small, It's but you can find it. It's down at the bottom, or at least it was in my case. Once you're up and online, turn off everything in the privacy section. Uh, uninstall every single tile app that has the option uh, to uninstall and remove any vendor branded apps. You don't need them. My wife's computer came with a trial version of uh, McAfee LiveSafe antivirus. Delete it too. Windows 10 comes with Windows Defender and it is more than fine, more than adequate as your antivirus. There are several network protocols that need to be turned off. They are not needed. I've managed to run fine in both home and public Wi-Fi environments like at the coffee shop. Again, details for this are in the blog post. One last thing before I go. There used to be a search bar at the bottom of the screen in Windows 10. Uh, the search bar, you'd type in whatever and it would look on your system for it. They've replaced that with Cortana. Now we have some important setup to do. Ugh. I 
hate Cortana. Uh, Cortana was fine as the sarcastic, although over-sexualized uh, uh, character that she played in Halo, but, you know, that's video game world, whatever. There is no place for the new Clippy to exist in Windows 10 as far as I'm concerned. You can disable or get back to a regular search. Um, you have to go into settings and turn off everything Cortana. Uh, you have to go into the registry and add a key and add a D word under that called allow Cortana and leave it at its default of zero. And that will give you back your original, your, the original search bar. And so that will work just fine and Cortana will be gone. Well, that's it for now. Remember to read the blog post uh, uh, for all the uh, gory technical details. If you're watching this six to nine months after it was released, I'm sorry, the information that I'm referring to may actually be outdated. Hopefully, it will have changed for the better, and it's not the same or worse. Like, subscribe, uh, you know, share, do all that stuff. Uh, that helps me out, and... I will see you in the next video. Now type your credentials. Ooh, shut up.